and uh, start with our next speaker, um, who never hesitates to roll up his sleeves and get his hands dirty. Um, he has done a lot of work to understand the complexity and value of our fishing ports uh, to help rebuild our schools. He, uh, he oversees over $9 billion fund of, uh, that involves our state pensions, pensions. So I think he knows a lot about investments and a good investment when he sees it. Um, so it's um, my delight and pleasure to introduce General Treasurer Seth Magaziner. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you to all of my colleagues in government who are here, particularly Director Coit for your leadership. Thank you to all the members of the environmental community who are uh, here as well. And to everybody who's watching at home, all Rhode Islanders, uh, as the director said, uh, in the treasurer's office, we know a good investment when we see one. And investing in Rhode Island's green and blue spaces is an absolutely vital investment that will pay dividends for our state for years to come. Uh, listen, we are in a tough time economically in this state and in, across our country. And we need to be bold in investing in initiatives that will put Rhode Islanders to work and make our economy more competitive over the long run. And question two is a great example of one of those bold steps that we can take to do just that. Uh, this bond, when it is passed, will fund uh, projects that will create hundreds and hundreds of jobs and make our state more competitive by improving our natural environment, which will help our uh, tourism and hospitality industry, hope, uh, help our food and agricultural sector, uh, and help our general quality of life, um, which will make Rhode Island a more attractive destination for people to live, work, visit, raise a family, uh, and um, uh, once again, uh, uh, improve our quality of life for years to come. Uh, I'm particularly uh, excited that this bond includes funding for resilience projects. Uh, we are a low-lying coastal state. We are vulnerable to climate change uh, and extreme weather events. The average level of the Narragansett Bay has risen six inches in just the last 30 years. And so we need to make our infrastructure more resilient and better prepared for the impact of climate change. We should seize this opportunity now. We can create a lot of good jobs in doing so because uh, heading off the impact of climate change now will save us money over the long run. It'll be much more expensive to fix all of these things once they are broken rather than take these precautionary steps to upgrade our infrastructure and make it more resilient now. So this makes sense on a whole range of different levels. Good for the environment, good for jobs, good for our quality of life, good for our resiliency in the face of climate change. Uh, that's why I'm encouraging all Rhode Islanders to vote yes on question two and asking all of you watching at home to help us get the word out uh, so that we can get this bond passed and we can put Rhode Islanders to work uh, improving the quality of our natural environment and getting our economy on the road to recovery. So thank you, Director, and thank you, everyone, for joining today. Hey, thank you so much, Treasurer Magaziner. There's also for people who want information, a vote yes on 2.com website, um, which will give you more information about the bond.